Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. The Lord bless you, my dear friends. A good morning indeed, and we thank God for making it possible. The Word of God says that His mercies are new, new every morning. It's cold, but the Lord's mercies are new. Allow me to share a thought with you that I've titled, Making Personal Commitment to Serve God's God's Purposes. Making Personal Commitments to Serve God's Purposes. Uh, Towards the end of May, my son came back for half-term break from a distant school where we had admitted him. He came back for a four-day break, for a four days break. And um, during the four days break, I discovered that he was growing and adjusting well with his new school. After the four days, he was going back and we had a brief conversation and uh, we made some parting shot. One thing that made me impressed from his parting shot, I thought that I will never forget for a long time, was when he was making his parting shot, he made a remark, a remark and said in his remark that, Dad, I want to make you proud. I want to make you happy with my performance. I want you to know that your labor is not in vain. My friends, I was touched by those sentiments. I'm this kind of person who will look people straight in their eyes when they are talking. But when my son was making those sentiments, I felt like my eyes was turning down. I really, I turned my face down literally. And I went and grabbed his shoulder and I told him, son, it doesn't matter whether you're, 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 you're getting high grades or not, you'll always be my son. I was touched by the sentiments that he made. And then I, I then asked myself, have I ever made a commitment to God? Have I ever made a commitment that God would literally touch me and say, come on, my son. Come on, my son. I'm proud of you. This morning, I want to talk to us about making personal commitment to God. You're asking, is it possible? Yes, it is possible to make personal commitment to God without coercion. It is possible to make personal commitment to God without standing on the rooftop and making public declaration. It is possible to go in your closet and make a commitment to God and say, God, I want to make you proud. I want to make you proud. And therefore, allow me to read a scripture passage in the book of Romans and I'll be explaining how this can be made possible, how you can make a personal a personal commitment to serve God's purposes. The Bible says in the book of Romans, the letter of Romans chapter 12 verses 2 B, the word says, but be it transformed by renewing of your mind, then you will be able to to test and approve what God's will, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. My friend, there is another level of growth that comes by transformation. Another level that can only be accommodated by a renewed mind. Another level that can test and discern the will of God. Another level that will cause us to encounter the elevated goodness of God. The level that goes beyond ordinary, ordinary worldly standards. The level where the Spirit of God himself will bear witness that what you are doing, the action that you are doing is in perfect will of God. And therefore, my friend, I want to suggest this morning to us that 
that level, that level of making a commitment to God comes with growth, comes with understanding, comes with a renewed mind, comes with a transformed mind. When you make a commitment to God, it's a sign that you are surrendering. A commitment to God is a sign of surrender. Surrender in the fact that you are telling God that if I fail, I'd rather fail in you other than failing outside. If I f- make it, I'd rather make it in you. It's a trust in the sense that you are telling God, I cannot do without you. I cannot make it without you. I totally rely on you. I depend on you. I depend on your, on your guidance. I'm looking up on you. And therefore, this morning as you're starting your day, my dear friend, it is possible to make this kind of commitment that God, I'm surrendering. God, I'm making a commitment. A commitment. I want to make you proud as I'm going out. I want to make you happy. Go with me. I'm surrendering. I'm trusting in you. It is possible, my dear friend. I want to let you go into your business, but pray with you as well, even as we are bring this to a close. I want to trust that you will make that commitment, that God, I want to make you proud. I want to make you happy. I want to surrender. I want to trust you. Allow me to pray with you, even as I'm bringing this to a close. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord, for reminding us that it's possible for us to make a commitment. It is possible for us to make a commitment that we will trust you, that we will surrender to you, that we will hope in you, that we will believe your word, that we will believe your direction. Oh, King of glory, we are surrendering even as we commit to making you proud in our day, even as we commit to making you happy in our day. Go with us, hold our hands, give us victory in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you, my dear friends. It was nice to have you here. Until we meet again, stay blessed. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.